We're gonna just dedicate it to her. Oh, and then we're gonna, yeah. Claudia, this one is dedicated to you. Oh my god, red battery. We oh, right. Claudia, we love you. Play oh, someone like Claudia, you. Let's go. Claudia, Claudia. From, from the top, six, seven. What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. <coughs> Welcome to my birthday vlog. I've turned 24. I officially feel old now. I was thinking of making this like a birthday week vlog, get a bunch of footage and compile it all together. Unfortunately, I have been very, very sick for the last week. I think I got the flu or a sinus infection because it was very intense and allowed me to do nothing. Today we are looking to be in great shape, so I'm excited about it. As long as we keep it chill, it's fine. So yeah, this week was a nightmare. Tried to vlog, didn't really work. <laughs> I had a breakdown this morning. I didn't really feel like going all out with celebrating my birthday and throwing some huge party, but I invited a few friends over. Tonight we're gonna do like a game night situation, so I definitely have to go out and pick up some food, random supplies, stuff like that. I thought, let me film myself getting ready for the day. I just curled my hair with a one and one fourth inch barrel. Went in with a little bit of hairspray and a finishing cream, which I am pretty new to and I like how it looks. Let me roll up my sleeves. About an hour ago, I did my morning skincare steps and just left some sunscreen on my skin and neck. So that's all I have right now, just like a serum and a sunscreen. I do wanna add a makeup primer to ensure that my makeup is going to stay on throughout the day and into game night. We're using a very fancy, fancy primer. This is the YSL Beauty Tushikla Blur Primer. This is an illuminating primer that blurs your imperfections and boosts the radiance of your foundation. It's got blur technology, light infused pigments, and four different nourishing oils in it as well. It's gonna leave your skin feeling very soft without that like greasy feeling. So I'm gonna pump some onto my hand and I'm just going to use a base brush to apply this primer on. Now you really want to focus on the center and then work your way outwards. And also, if you're curious, this primer comes in one universal shade. My skin right now is probably the lightest it could ever get. I haven't self-tanned in a long time. So all of my foundations are too dark on me, but I found this one. It's from Milk Makeup, and it's their Blur Liquid Foundation in the shade Fair. I'm just going to put some directly onto the brush, blend it on my skin. Yeah. Great. I'm not gonna cake this stuff on. We're gonna be using a lot of pretty illuminating and highlighting products today because I want my skin just to look really fresh. I think keeping your foundation layer on the lighter side allows you to add more stuff without it starting to look super cakey. To start the highlighting process and fix the area underneath my eyes, we're gonna be using the Tushikla Radiance Touch Pen from YSL. I grew up watching my mom use this religiously. She always had it in her vanity. This is sort of like a little superpower pen. It just adds so much natural light and brightness to your face. We're gonna go underneath here. I'm using shade two, and this product comes in 14 shades. So I'm going on the brow bone, underneath the eyes. I'm also adding right in this hollow area to brighten up the inner eyes. It helps to brighten your complexion. It's semi-sheer, so it's not gonna be cakey. That's absolutely what we're avoiding today. Look at that, that's insane. I'm also gonna add this down the bridge of my nose, right here on the laugh lines and then a little bit around my lips too. I'm essentially using it to naturally lift my features. Just to add a little bit of bronze to my face, Milk Makeup Matte Bronzer. I have been back into these like little roll-up cream products. I'm just gonna take some on my brush. Very lightly add it 
to the hollows of my cheeks. For blush, I'm also going to be using a cream product, and this is their Lip and Cheek Cream Stick in Work. I find that cream blushes really just create like a flushed look, and it looks like you just have rosy cheeks underneath your foundation, rather than like a matte powder just like being packed on top of your makeup. Cream blush kind of feels like it's peeking out from underneath. Right now, I'm just packing some matte powder on the areas on my face that get a little bit greasier. The powder that I'm using is so stunning. I'm so obsessed with it right now. It is the YSL Touche Cloth 3D All Over Glow Powder. It is a universal highlighter and finishing powder that's gonna work for any skin tone, so there's just one universal shade. I'm gonna be pretty generous with this stuff and sort of add it in like a big three to my face. It basically just gives your face an all over glow or if you want to be specific and sort of pinpoint which areas you wanna put it on. It comes with a brush underneath which makes Makes it great for on the go if you just want to touch up and give your face like a brightening lift throughout the day. I'm gonna take my finger and pack this onto my lid. I'm gonna quickly fill in my eyebrows and be right back. Lately I have been brushing my brows up to give it like a messier look. It's my birthday, I'm gonna add a little bit of eyeshadow on. This is the Pillow Talk Luxury Palette of Pops by Charlotte Tilbury. I'm gonna use the lightest shade and pack that on my lid. I'm gonna take this guy down here, add that to the outside. Using a smaller brush, I'm going to dip it into the darkest. I'm gonna add that to the crease and the outer lid. I'm also gonna go underneath the eye. Using an eyeliner, it's kind of like a dark brown. I'm just gonna add it to the upper lash line, flick it out, and then we're gonna smudge it out. Let's curl the lashes. Giorgio Armani Mascara. I'm gonna go back in with this 3D all over glow powder and just really focus it on the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, tops of my cheeks, pillow talk lip gloss. Feeling cute. Okay, and that is the look for the day. You would never think I'm sick. <laughs> Thank you YSL Beauty for sponsoring this portion of the video. What a dream come true. Literally the coolest brand I've ever associated myself with, so I am stoked to be starting a partnership with them. I'm gonna clean this all up. Also, I feel like I should mention, we got a new piece of furniture. The dresser finally arrived. Cut to that clip. Do you see what's behind me? It's the last missing piece. I've been waiting to put a dresser in this office for so long and it just arrived today. We've had lots of drama. I originally was gonna get something completely different. I bought it and then like two weeks later, it said that it was discontinued. I tried buying it from the original website thinking maybe that that would cheat the system. I got the same notification that it was discontinued. And then I purchased this guy from CB2. First time it got delivered, they saw where it needed to go and they were like, no, 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 this is a three-man job, we can't do this. So I had to reschedule for a week later and then today, two guys showed up and I was like, oh boy. And they looked at it and they were like, we think we can do this. And they did it, which is amazing. I think she looks really gorge. Yeah, it really like fills up the room. It brings together the black and the table and the cabinet and everything and I love the double counter. Everything just opens, amazing deep drawers. Really excited about this. I'm gonna start filling it up. She does this every day. Hi, oh, no, 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 I'm sorry. I can't let you in here. All you do is go through the trash and you eat paper and you eat everything 
and I can't have that happen in here. So we're just gonna, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I went through and started filling up the dresser, but I think it looks so good in here. I definitely need to start adding stuff on the walls, more plants. Now my next thing is like figuring out how to make this place like more cozy, because now it's like a lot of glass and a lot of black. These are some flowers that Manny gave me for my birthday, and they're so freaking cute. It's inspiring me to always have flowers in here because I think it just looks gorgeous. And then my team sent me flowers that I put right there. I just started to kind of place things underneath the glass. I thought one of these is great because there's an outlet back here that I kind of lose. So I can always just like pull this forward, bring it on top. I put a book underneath. And then, yeah, I just started like throwing stuff underneath. Starting on the right side, I'm keeping all of my cameras, microphones, lenses, and little tripods in here. Underneath, got my drone, my old computer, nothing really happening in there. This will be a drawer that I will be opening all the time. I've got a bunch of chargers here, camera batteries here, and then I have all of these little baggies that are labeled with different types of cords, adapters, connectors, things like that. Underneath here, we have more electronics, so headphones in here, computer stuff, a microphone. Um, there's like more cords in here, headphones. And then these two I am leaving for purses so that I can just continue to have more storage for them. And if I don't want them to be in this very visible display, I can throw them in there. That is what it's looking like. If you guys remember this printed frame from my old apartment. I kept the frame because I liked it. I like the size. I think right now I'm just going to quickly paint something to switch out the inside. I think I'm going to hang this like right here. Yes. I just went through an old party box and I found this pennant banner. So it just has little black triangles and I think this actually would look cute in front of the fireplace. Cute. Okay, that honestly looks so chic and clearly shows that it's a party. So love that into it. We're obviously going to light the fire. We're gonna have candles everywhere. I got these beautiful flowers from the Mayfair group. How pretty. And there's like a little succulent in there. Peach, are you excited to party tonight? Are you excited? Yeah. Just made myself a little midday green smoothie. A classic game we love to play is charades tag where we all split into different groups. There's a moderator and so I'm gonna be the moderator so I created three lists already so we don't have to like think of them on the spot. TV shows, movies, songs. I'm gonna be standing somewhere far away from let's say all three groups. One person from each team runs to me. I whisper the first, you know, TV show, movie, song, whatever. They run back to their team. They charade it silently to the rest of their group. The person who guesses it then runs, tells me what they heard or figured out. I give them the next one. And basically it's just a lot of commotion and running and everyone just gets really competitive with this game. So I'm excited for this one and want to plan that. I'm also gonna cut out some pieces to play where Wolf, which is like a version of Mafia. It was too chaotic to vlog, but Phineas and I just nailed this little coffee rack in one of the corners of our kitchen, and we are so proud. It's so cute. We do all of our coffee making right here, and so it is literally so accessible. We're gonna keep all of our coffee beans and cute little dainty mugs here. Fun fact, Marcin gave me this little clay mug like two years ago. So excited for that one to be front and center. Also this rack, Kevin and Camila got me for Christmas from London. So kind of cute, like reminds me of my family and it's very, very useful. Which is also a good team. And the seer basically has a special power. Um, three, two, one, go! 
Just came because we were playing charades too intensely. Just had to let them know. Hi, it's me. Hey, how's it going, guys? How are oh, you? Shit, low battery. Oh no. The cops just came. Oh, no. Claudia, low we battery. Them off. Low, low battery. battery. 